Tonight, we have a first-hand look at the front of the Mama Joe tunnel boring machine. Last week, we reported that it had completed its nearly five-mile journey from Glasgow and Dwinger Avenue to Foster Park. Today, Fox 55's Kelsey Maddox went over 100 feet underground for a closer look and has more on the next steps of the project. The end of this phase has been a long time coming for program manager TJ Short. Thrilled, actually. It's been uh, uh, a dream come true, uh, as, not just for myself, but for this city also. 26 months to be exact. We finally successfully have made it to this end and the breakthrough and right on target, right where we're supposed to be at. The goal is to have the tunnel system active by the end of 2023 to prevent sewage overflow. A few more steps are needed before then, like adding connecting shafts from surface sewers to the tunnel. All of this is an effort to keep waste out of the rivers. 71 times in a typical year, it rains enough to where the combined sewer overflows discharge and that'll be cut back to no more than four times in a year. The tunnel boring machine is about 125 feet down the shaft behind me here, and that's where it will stay. Crews say they're going to bury the first 40 or 50 feet of it underground. This crane, as big as it is, is not big enough to pull out pieces of the tunnel boring machine. And it would be costly, too. The contractor tells me it's just not economically feasible to do that, so they'll just bury it instead. The price tag of the project went up without this expense. So we're, we started out, we were just at around $188 million. Right now, we've added a little bit of scope to the project, so we're actually up to $223 million project. The project overall has been in the works for years, and manager of engineering Michael Teaster is thankful to everyone that has worked on it thus far. We've been planning on this, you know, personally been working on this since... You know, 2005, 2006, so it's been a long journey, a lot of work, uh, a lot of faces involved with it. And In Fort Wayne, I'm Kelsey Maddox, Fox 55 News. And once the tunnel system is complete in a little over two years, it will move to 850 million gallons of combined sewage per day.